Hey everyone, welcome to From the Depths, I'm Menti, this is episode 113 of the Battleship Brawl Season 5 Tournament. This episode we've got the Obdurateness by Branjamin challenging the uh, Mangatout by Hibachi. Go ahead and get the camera in position and away we go on run. Oh wow, I'm way off. But here we go, round one is underway. Mangatat wa launching a large initial volley here. Does not manage to connect. Neither does the obdurateness. Those first volleys are frequently unable to land because the ships, you know, they, they're sitting still when the shells get fired and then moving and turning. And, yeah. Ooh, rear of the Mangatat taking a hit there. I bet that... Oh, wow, I was expecting this turret to be gone, but no, it's fine. Mangatout still at 98. Oh, brightness is getting hammered pretty hard. Center part of the ship here. And now it's turning away and pulling its guns out of alignment, which is frankly pretty much never a good idea. <laughs> shells missing the obdurateness. It is dodging quite a few, but its shells are just not being very effective against the Mangatout. Mangatout is a fairly sturdy ship. out by that shell there. Now the Mangatout's having issues with its guns going out of alignment. Or out of firing arc anyway. You know what I mean. Now that the Mangatats lost a bunch of its weapons, its damage output against the Obdurateness is much lower. Just 
It is also out of materials to repair with. But the uh, Mangatau did get quite a bit of a lead to start with. So it's kind of front running right now. Oh, but the Apteratinus just lost this rear gun. It has been disabled. Apteratinus should feel lucky he didn't pop off. Oh, well. <laughs> uh, that good old commentator's curse, apparently. Oh, it was just the cap. It wasn't the whole turret, at least. And yes, I did actually remember to change the time this time. <laughs> so, all right. Obdurateness finishes with 71.8. Make it out at 80.7. That was actually a fairly close battle. It wasn't... I mean, the uh, Mangatau definitely had the upper hand there, but... It was not, uh... It was not a complete, you know, utter one-way stomp. Mangatat was doing a lot better when it had all of its guns, but then once the, once the Obdurateness took a couple of those out, it started catching up. It just didn't quite catch up fast enough. Ooh, that's a big old volley of shells. And several of them connect. Obdurateness seems a bit fragile. Seems to me like it has a tendency to uh, take good, take quite a bit of damage each time it gets hit. Whereas the Mangatau's hull is pretty sturdy, but the guns have a tendency of getting destroyed. And it doesn't help that the Mangatau tends to sit itself at an angle where not all of its guns can fire. Well, this gun got ended up getting disabled anyway, so... <laughs> guess that doesn't matter at this point. 92.4% on the Obdurateness, 96 on the Mangatout. Obdurateness lost a couple of barrels on this turret here. Is it possibly one on this one? I'm not sure if that's, that that uh, that really short one is still functional or not. Oh, jeez, that was a pretty brutal shot. Look at all that confetti. <laughs> Good old block confetti. You know, this maneuver doesn't exactly help the obdurateness either. Ooh, that turret takes a direct hit to the to the neck it looked like, and off goes the cap. And granted, there was only one barrel left on that gun anyway, so it's not a huge loss, but it's not great. It's certainly not great. Ooh, that turret definitely took a hit to the rear from that explosion. 
I don't think it did any damage that, that wasn't, you know... I don't think it disabled anything that wasn't already disabled. is getting his forward guns back into the fight. That shot was... That was pathetic. <laughs> what the heck? <laughs> it didn't even get halfway to the target. That was just sad. Whoever aimed that shell should be ashamed of themselves. Once again, the man gets out very low on weapons, and that gun just took a direct hit. Just lost a barrel. But again, man gets out may have lost uh, a bunch of weapons, but we're kind of far into the round, and man gets out's got a pretty big lead of, you know, just over 10%. Like, maybe I could stop firing from here on out, and it would still probably win the round by HP. The Obdurateness's hull is a bit too squishy, and its firepower not packing quite enough oomph to take on this opponent properly. Obdurateness is looking kind of wrecked. Well, this round looks like it's going to be even closer than the first one. Oh, that turret just... I mean, there's only 10 seconds left in the round, so that turret getting disabled at this point isn't a huge deal since the cap didn't fall off or anything, but yeah, this round was pretty close. 76.7% for the Obdurateness, and 83 for the Mangatout. So, so far, Mangatout taking the first two rounds, not by a huge amount, but it, it's definitely winning. This, uh, this is going to be a battle that goes to a vote for sure. I'm pretty sure even if the, even if the Obdurateness were to sink the Mangatout or be sunk, it would still be close enough to, uh, that the vote could influence things. We'll decide the outcome of this one, I think. Oh, right to the, the stern of the ship. Obdurateness' best chance of winning a round is to disable the Mangatout's weapons quickly. Like, it's got a few of them down. There's two turrets disabled here. You know, if it keeps that up... It can potentially, uh... Make a difference. 
but so far the Obdurateness keeps catch starting to catch up late in the round. But the uh, Bang Attack gets such a starting lead that Obdurateness can't catch up. However, Obdurateness is at 97.3, Bang Attack's at 93.9. By far the uh, best round for the for the so far. All of its guns are still intact. I mean, this turret did just take some barrel damage, but that's not a huge deal. Wow, yeah, Mangatout is out of weapons. It has no guns left except these these rear turrets. Oh, and one of those two rear turrets just got blown off. Mangatap does not have any materials to repair with. So this is really a matter of how much damage can the Obdurateness do before the round ends. wins this round hard enough, it could potentially take the lead, because the first two rounds weren't that, you know, far apart. And right now it's got a 22% lead. That may swing things back in the Obdurateness' favor. But again, the vote is significant. It could very well change things. Obdurateness may even sink the Mangatown at this rate. It can keep landing its hits. It's gonna be close. It's possible, but... Given the, the ranges they're fighting at and that the Obdurateness keeps missing quite a few of its shells, probably not. It would have been difficult if for the Obdurateness to pull that off if every single one of its shells landed. Mangatap barely survives. 55.6% HP. So that's 
and 55.6. So yeah, that swings the vo swings the score into the obdurateness's favor, but not by a lot. That vote is going to matter. So uh, that should be live by the time this video goes is well by the time the video is live too. So make sure you head on over to the Discord and cast your vote. Thanks for watching, folks. I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you on the battlefield.